Welcome again to another training presentation by Dayo Adit Loe. Today, we are going to be looking at how to assess between 1 million and 1 billion Naira loan from the federal government presidential palliative programs that is aimed in transforming businesses and improving life. Uh, this particular grant or particular loan is a package that is put together by the government of Nigeria in 2024 to be able to help and improve the lives of people. So if you look at the screen very well, you will see apply for grants and apply for loan. So the website is fedgrantsandloan.gov.ng. So the grant component currently has been done. So the opportunity now is just the loan. So at the point of doing this video, the grant component has been done and it's for nano businesses. So the websites you are going to go to for you to assess this particular opportunity is what is displayed uh, below for us. Also at the comment section, you will see the link to the grant and every other information you will need. If you are joining us for the first time on this channel, here we share about information on grant loans, business opportunity, and business development information to help you start, grow, and expand your business. We are always available here for consultation, to consult with you to help your business to start, grow, and expand. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please do that right now so that subsequent training from this program, you will be hearing from us. You will be getting that notification immediately. So let's look at this presidential palliative loan program. What is it all about? Is this something that you should apply for? Now, the benefit is a 75 billion uh, to businesses with up to 1 million for each beneficiary. 35 billion to manufacturers with up to 1 billion for each beneficiary. So the targeted uh, people are the MSMEs and the manufacturers. Repayment, because it's a loan, we're going to have three years repayment period for MSME and a one year repayment period for working capital. Five years repayment period for purchase of machinery and equipment. Requirement, application requirements subjected to banks' risk assessment criteria. So I'm going to take us on the journey of critically analyzing this loan application and now you can prepare your documentation to assess this particular loan. In subsequent training, I'm going to be sharing with you how you will position your business to be able to pay back the loan, how your business has to do well so that you'll be able to pay back the loan. That's for subsequent trainings. That's the reason why I say you should subscribe to this YouTube channel so that you begin to have this business information that is here to educate you and entertain you as well. So who are the real target sectors for the scheme? Because some people, you're already asking, I do this type of business, am I eligible? The first set of people that are eligible for this business, they are the traders, all right? If you trade anything, you are selling anything, this loan is for you. Your food service uh, provider, this business is for you, this loan is for you. You are into ICT, this loan is for you. You are into transportation. This loan is for you. You are into creatives. This loan is for you. You are an artisan. This loan is for you. Now, my organization is here to work with as many people as possible into these different categories that you would like to assess this loan. The application is still currently on. The deadline for this application is not known. So I'm sure that for the four-year P 
period of this current government tenure, this application will be open. So you want to be part of those early birds that will benefit for this inf uh, opportunity. That's the reason why I'm basically taking you through this application step by step. Because it's a loan, in, in, in previous governments of Nigeria, we've had of more grants. But since last government, we've been having more of loans. And you need to pay attention to trends. If loan is what we have now, it's better we begin to look at how to deal with loan application, how to ensure that your loan is approved, and how to ensure that your business is doing well to pay back the loan over a period of one year, two year, three year period. That's the reason why this period is the period you need to work with consultants, business consultants like us, so that your business can do well. In previous years, people assess government grants and the business shut down. And one of the costs is because they don't engage consultant. Once they receive the money, they just disappear. Consultant will be calling them. Ah, ah, are you not going to come for your session again? Because they have the money, they don't look at, they don't even listen to consultant advice. But this time around, it's a loan you are paying back. So you better uh, sign up for a retainership with consultants so that they can be with you as your business is growing your consultant they are with you growing your business with you entrepreneurs and visionaries are you ready to turn your dreams into reality whether you're launching a startup or you're scaling your existing business success begins with a solid plan at Dio Adetiloye Business Hub we specialize in crafting comprehensive business plans tailored to your unique vision and goals. Our expert consultants work closely with you to develop strategies that attract investors, secure funding, and drive growth. Ready to take your business to a new height? Contact us today and let's write your success story together. So loan eligibility criteria, number one. So this uh, loan application, we have two categories of people. The first one is up to 1 million Naira loan. How to assess this, the eligibility criteria? You must be an existing business, be in operation for one year. Startup must be a registered business. So... If you are not registered with CAC, my organization can do that for you. You will see my number uh, below the comment section and the description section of this video. Reach out to us. We will register your business with you. Whether you want to do business name or limited liability company, we will do that for you. In two, three weeks, your certificate will be out. Then you'll be able to use that document to open the back account for you. Provide CSC business registration documents, company bank statement for a period of one year for existing businesses. Now, once you open your bank account, be using it. Let all your money pass through your account. This is very important. Then have a required monthly turnover and other things may be requested by the bank. So these are very important. Now, security. This is one of the for learned people, this is one of the aspects you want to ask. What is the security? Number one is the personal guarantee of the promoter. If you don't pay this money back, they can come and carry you in your business place, lock it up, sell your personal car, sell your personal house, everything personal that you have. These are the collateral you are using. That's the reason they call the personal guarantee of the promoter. Another one is acceptance of the BVN covenant. They call it global standing instruction, GSI, and any other thing that may be required by the bank. So all this global standing instruction simply means that anywhere you have money, they have the power to go and pick from that money to pay your loan. You know that BVN will show all the accounts that are attached to your BVN. If there's money in anyone, 
they will pick it. You know, some people, they don't want to pay the loan back. They will now begin to put money in their personal accounts. Why the corporate account that's supposed to pay the loan back, they leave it empty. This GSI will go to your personal account and pull out money. Repayment frequency, monthly equal installment, no moratorium over a period of three years. So this one million naira, you will pay it over a period of three years. All right, so you'll be able to use the one million over and over and over and over again. Are you getting it now? So this is opportunity for us even as we do uh, businesses. Now, the, the next category that I want you to pay attention to is the manufacturers up to 1 billion working capital or asset financing. So I don't know the type of business you currently have or you want to expand into. This kind of business is for you. Currently, we have about two organizations we are consulting for helping to assess this particular loan. And each of them, they want to apply for 950 million naira because the kind of business they are doing requires such kind of money. You see, that's the reason why they need consultant. They don't just want to do it anyhow. So eligibility, at least six month business or corporate banking relationship, all right? Number two, provide CSC business registration. Number three, 12 month bank statement for mother banks. So this opportunity is open for you. Even if you are not using the bank that want to process it, you can bring transactions from mother bank. Other documentation may be required as well. Security may be required by bank. So as may be required by bank. So the bank will ask you for some security that might be beyond the one for the one million and above. So they might ask you to bring land, um, maybe C or four. They might ask you to bring a guarantor and the uh, assets um, and things like that. So another point here is the repayment terms. So for asset financing, you are going to have six months moratorium on principal and interest, five years repayment period for asset financing only. Working capital financing is 12 months equal installment of principal and uh, interest. So we must look at this when we are applying. Don't worry. Uh, this video is said to give you more information, more explanation so that you get everything right. And if you need our one-on-one -on -one consultation, we are always here for you. Now, if you are interested in this loan, just go to loan.fedgrantandloan.gov.ng. Just follow this link. You will also see this link as well in the comment section. Then they will give you opportunity for you to now create your account. Then put in your business information, your director's information, the loan information, and that will be good to go. Now, once you register, you'll be able to log in. And once you log in, you'll be able to see these two uh, information, the application and your status. When you apply, you click on apply. Once you click on this apply, it will take you to where you will now put in your business information. All right? Once you put in your business information, then it will take you to where you put your own information and other directors' information. Once you do that, you put your loan information, then you do, it will now be in review. So they will review it, then later they will approve or tell you if they need further information. Now, I want to take us through all the form they want you to fill, all the information they want you to fill, and possibly how you should do them, all right? This is very important. Now, the business information, we have the business type. Is it sole proprietorship? Is it partnership? Is it limited company? Your company name, number three, registration number, number four, date of birth, number five, gender, number six, phone number, number seven, certificate of incorporation. So before I continue, when you are applying for this, they will first ask for your BVN and your NIN. 
when you put these two together, there are some basic information it will automatically load for you. So you need to be aware of that. So if you don't have BVN, go to your bank and get one. If you don't have NIN, go to where to get that as well. Status report, other CAC documents, business operations address. If you want to register your business with CAC, maybe you have a new idea, please reach out to us. We do that for you. Selected state, selected local government, business sector. Now for this business sector, is it trade, transport, food service, artisan, creative arts? You know, one thing I've looked at about this particular loan application is big enough. They want to pick a lot of people. Bank, they want you to choose from the list of participating bank. If your bank is not a participating bank, then you need to go and open an account with a participating bank. We have over 20 participating banks, so you can just check. I know there is UBA and some other banks like that. Then you put your bank account number. Entrepreneurs and visionaries, are you ready to turn your dreams into reality? Whether you're launching a startup or you're scaling your existing business, success begins with a solid plan. At Dio Adetiloye Business Hub, we specialize in crafting comprehensive business plans tailored to your unique vision and goals. Our expert consultants work closely with you to develop strategies that attract investors, secure funding, and drive growth. Ready to take your business to a new height? Contact us today and let's write your success story together. So the next one is the chief promoter and director. You need to supply information for the chief promoter. So you are the chief promoter. So we need your first name, your surname, the BVN, date of birth, email address, phone number, means of ID, passport, uh, photograph. So the next one is the loan details. So here, we have different loan type. We have the startup MSME. This startup MSME can assess between 500,000 to 1 million naira. So we have existing business MSME between 500,000 to 1 million naira. Then we have working capital for manufacturing between 500 million to 1 billion. Then we have asset financing for manufacturing between 500 million to 1 billion. Uh, requested loan amount. So this is an example. If you apply for a million naira, the interest is 9%. The moratorium repayment amount is 32,000 naira. And the tenor you will use to pay this money is for 36 months. And you start paying immediately. So these are terms and condition you should Take note when applying for this. So if you need assistance to write your business plan and general consultation to assess the federal government loan, uh, you should reach out to me on 08060779290. Business plan is part of what the banks will require from you. They want you to be sure that you can actually um, manage your cash flow very well and apply for your business. So I'm now going to take us to the frequently asked question for this particular loan application so that we can have more understanding even as we apply. All right, so let's take a deep dive into the frequently asked question, all right? So that we will be able to have a very good understanding about how this federal government loan works. How do I assess the loan? So you go to their website, federalgrantsandloan.gov.ng. Why disbursement will be done by your bank if you meet the eligibility criteria? A lot of people, they apply for things like this. They don't study the frequently asked question. How will I know if I qualify? 
the criteria I provided, of course, the criteria I provided truly, I've gone through that. What are the terms of the loan? The loan terms is that six months for MSME and manufacturer's working capital is 12 months, while manufacturer asset finance is 60 months and now within a six months uh, moratorium. What if I don't meet the criteria? Will I be considered no? So that's how you need to be very, very familiar with the criteria. What is the interest rate? It's 9%. Are you getting it now? I have done, in my previous video, I've done the one on BOI loan. So if you have interest in BOI loan, it's 5%. But this particular one is 9%. So you need to be aware of that. Is the is there a moratorium? Yes, there is a six month moratorium period for manufacturer applying for asset financing. But if you are just applying for a millionaire, there is no moratorium period. What if I can't pay back the loan? The bank will apply all legal mail to recover the loan from the borrower. Did you read that? So it's not free money. Before you go and get the loan, count your cost very well. We will see educate you more on lower applications, what you should consider, is it for you, should you get it or not, and things like that. That's the reason why I said you should subscribe to this YouTube channel where we educate you more. Can I apply with a partner bank, partner company? Applicant must have a registered business, either as a sole proprietorship, partnership, or limited liability company. Let's look at another one. Is there any age limit to application? Yes, applicant and promoter of the company has to be 18 years and above. That one is very good. How long will it take for from where I apply to where I get the loan? This is dependent on your bank. However, it's typically expected to take two weeks. That's from where they start dispersing. Can I apply with different companies? No, multiple applications will be disqualified. What are the repayment terms? Equal and consecutive monthly repayment of principal and interest for the tenure of the loan. How do I know the status of my application? You can check the status of your application by logging into your profile. Once your application has been forwarded to your bank for processing, you should follow up with your bank for updates. Can I reapply if my application is rejected? You may be able to reapply if the reason for rejection is a minor issue. You will be notified of the rejection and advised to provide additional information. When is the deadline for the submission application? Yes, deadline will be communicated later. So this is what I'm trying to tell you, that throughout this government, they might likely continue to grant this loan at 9% because this is a federal government uh, loan. So... Definitely, you want to ask me a question now. Ask question at the comment section. Reach out to me. I will share my contact again so that you will be able to reach out to me at any point in time for your business consultation. If you need training, if you want me to train your in your business school, if you want me to come and train, give some of this information on grants and loan in your business school, reach out to me on this number. 0806077929 so if you want us to write your business plan that's one of our services at directly business up reach out to me we'll be able to help you with your business plan there should be no loan you will apply for that you should not prepare a good business plan for it banks will ask you for business plan boi will ask you for business plan the business plan is like your roadmap to achieving the goals and strategy you have put together in your business. So thank you very much. I want to hear your success story. If you have been able to assess grants, loans, or investment from following us over the years, we've been doing this now for the past 10 years, and then um, you've received that, we want to hear your success story. We've worked with over 5,000 MSME in the past, 10 years. Thank you very much. We look forward to hear your success story. Thank you. Entrepreneurs and visionaries, are you ready to turn your dreams into reality? 
whether you're launching a startup or you're scaling your existing business, success begins with a solid plan. At Dayo Adetiloye Business Hub, we specialize in crafting comprehensive business plans tailored to your unique vision and goals. Our expert consultants work closely with you to develop strategies that attract investors, secure funding, and drive growth. Ready to take your business to a new height? Contact us today and let's write your success story together.